I think it's the difference between matter and infinity, like the finite and the infinite. When we, once you, once you understand the concept of infinity and realize that infinity is a real thing, you can't not be part of the infinite. You and I and everybody else out there is part of the all, the infinite. And this is that law of one thing. We'll go back to there. It's the only thing that ends up making sense again. <clears throat> Where, and this is this is either, you know, an entropy point or, you know, there is a zero point of some sort where the universe comes back to a source, God, whatever you want to call it. It's a thing, you know, and, and if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess if you're in that, at that point in your journey, that's your, that's your path, I guess. I don't, I'm not here to convert anybody. I know. Exactly. But, Same here. But you we're know, just oversharing. Exactly. Right. We're just going to overshare until you get it. I'm a comedian. <laughs> this is an entertainment show, everybody. Come on. For real. We, th this is the thing is we have to keep entertaining the questions or else we're not going to find the right answers. We, we've been yep. asking the wrong questions. In fact, we haven't been asking questions. Bingo. Exactly. We've been, we've been, uh, I work in the school system and it's, it's tough to see that, you know, kids come out of high school, you know, not with a whole lot of, you know, knowledge to arm themselves, like really arm themselves against the real world about what's really happening. You know, I think if it, and it wouldn't take long, like, hell, we could probably get it done in the, first freshman year and then somebody you know people can can go off and be productive like what the school systems do for for children they're not i don't know it's not helping people but that's another system uh, mm -hmm. another another system that we've created that we feel like like people think they can't get out of it yeah you can people educated their own kids for Almost thousands cool. and thousands of years yeah. I think you'll be all right. It's like people grow their own food for thousands and thousands of years. <laughs> you'll be all right. Yeah, that's something that John Taylor Gatto used to talk about, which I love. If anyone's not familiar with him, he's the guy who was a New York City school teacher for years, like in the 70s and 80s. And he would always have these brilliant students in any class he would take, like either in Harlem or Brooklyn or even like the Upper West Side where like all the rich people were. He always had this. And basically what he taught him was, he taught them, he said that he just taught them what they would teach you in these elite boarding schools. And it's how to get things done, how to get what you want, how to talk to people. It's not about memorizing facts or anything like that. It's just like about how to approach the world. And I mean, I think that's really what homeschooling is about. People have this misconception. They don't want to homeschool because they're like, well, I hated school. I don't want to have to teach all this crap. Well, you don't have to teach all that crap to your kids. You know, you could just teach them how to run a business. You know, I mean, I, I have a friend who has a seven-year-old son that, I mean, he could start his own YouTube channel and probably be a millionaire if he wanted to. The kid is so smart. He loves to play chess. He loves all the stuff. And it's like, I keep telling him, like, you don't, and, and the tough thing is his mom's a, a teacher and like, you know, like a first, second grade teacher. So she's always like, Ugh. but um, I'm like, you know, there's, and my friend is the one who owns the DJ company that I work for. So he knows all this stuff because he dropped out of college and he made his own way and he used to work three days a week and, you know, have a Mercedes. Now he's working like a madman because he owns his business. But I keep telling him, I'm like, just take him with you to work. He'll learn more hanging out with you than he will, you know, at the school. And yeah, it's it's crazy.